I'm Sarah Walker, a writer producer on Mozart in the Jungle. <laughs> and I'm Susan Coyne, also a writer producer on the show. Well, great. We're so happy to have you. Uh, my first question is the show was based on Blair Tyndall's memoir. And so now, since the show's in the fourth season, how much of the story is still derived from that original content and how much of it has kind of evolved past it? Sure, I mean, uh, I would say little to none. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> even in the first season, I think there was already a leaping off, very much inspired by the book and the kind of uh, anarchic feel of the book, but I think it's now become its own thing, basically. But Blair did come to set this season, like yeah. she's still, yeah. you know, a, definitely a part of the show, obviously. Oh, that's so cool. It's great that it's been able to continue to evolve. Um, and so kind of to that point, Nowadays, there's not really necessarily as much of an interest or familiarity with classical music or symphonies or orchestras. And so what do you think it is about the show that has made it so successful in capturing audiences and making them not only appreciate classical music, but also just enjoy it? Gael Mola. <laughs> <laughs> really easy to look yeah. at, very talented actors. Yeah. Um, I love the premise of the show that classical music is like, the you know the um, they're rock stars people who are you know so it's just sort of like if you go with that premise that this is the coolest genre of music and you can sort of take the audience along with you um, they're very yeah they're very yeah. passionate people mm -hmm. and they're very funny and so I think the characters are the main but I also think you know any workplace that you can write well about with really compelling characters people will be become interested in all those hospital shows we think I have no idea what they're talking about but I'm fascinated or the West Wing was the one that got me is like I don't know why farm subsidies matter but I'm <laughs> so into this you know? <laughs> totally. absolutely well and going off of that um, are there any kind of because there's the series is known for having such incredible guest stars and performances and original music are there any appearances this season that you can talk about that you're particularly excited about sure yeah you wrote oh well, yeah you wrote <laughs> the most star-studded episode of oh Paul. well yeah I mean I was gonna say Caroline Shaw mm -hmm. um, who's yes. a composer who won the Pulitzer at age 30 or yeah. something like that and she's just a straight-up genius and she's also she, appears she, in the show she's a really good actor. she's an amazing too. actor yeah. and so cool and so fun she provided an original piece for yes. the show like it, that was sort of a dream to work with her yeah and my final question is just um, how can you are, the obviously the show has made a great home on Amazon can you talk about kind of the supportive work environment that that has been able to give you and the risks that you've been able to take creatively well um you know, the best kind of network situation, I think, is where you don't even think about that. It's just like you, you just know that it's there. You don't have to, um, it's only when you work with people who aren't like that that you realize the difference, and, and, I, and I have back in the day. So uh, um, the risks that we take, um, are they, they just accept that that's the business we're in, which is the ideal situation, I think. It's like, yeah, we're in the risk-taking business, so we're not going to... We're not going to, you know, you've already jumped off the cliff. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just nice people and there's a great level yeah. of trust and support. And um, you never feel nervous when the executives show up. You're always very happy. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's great. I'm so looking forward to seeing season four. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day.